uh, the black-footed ferrets, uh, black-tailed prairie dog out here is their main source. Um, so that's, I think we're, we're super lucky just to be able to come out here and witness um, that cycle. Um, studies also indicate the prairie dogs actually increase species diversity and protein content in the grasses. And that, that's something I had never heard until this, until this lecture. So that's that's super cool. They're, they're very social animals. They live in groups uh, in prairie dog towns or colonies. Uh, towns are uh, complex. They burrow underground and they have complex tunnels and systems. Um, a town can be thousands of animals or, or it can be just a few. Um, within the, the towns live smaller groups called coteries. Um, and a group of females who stay together for life uh, and they're young uh, live in these coteries. And one to three males uh, may change. And the females mate can mate with uh, multiple different males, uh, from what I understand. Um, they live in very arid places because they get their water from seeds and insects that they eat. And um, it, it's believed that they mow grasses to keep them short for ease of predator vigilance. That's super cool. That's something I'd like to look into more. It's okay to say I don't yes. know. Yeah. And we're like, we're gonna investigate that. <laughs> you may be scared to, but it's I don't know is a perfectly legitimate answer or uh -huh. I don't know, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. So